last day in the high mountains around Andorra before the rest of the tour of Catalonia becomes rolling and indeed peaks and troughs around Barcelona. Well, after the high ground of the day previous, stage four was 166.7 kilometres, destination Boy Taul. And just like stage three, there were three category one tests along the way. The profile was always going to draw a strong breakaway. We didn't think it would be quite as strong as it turned out to be. Mark Soler got himself up the road for UE Team Emirates, who'd missed out the day previous. Ayuso starting the day second place behind O'Connor. Well, O'Connor's men were doing the chasing as this group, including Amaral from Ragu Palma, Lopez from Trek, Harada from Cofidis, Carthy from EF Education, Mark Donovan from DSM, and Biscara from Uscatel, who'd taken the combativity award the day previously. 24 kilometres to go, and all of a sudden a selection. Buna Amaral of Group Armour going off with Mark Donovan. Donovan couldn't quite uh, keep tabs on the man from Group Armour. And indeed a very selective group out of the peloton. With so much climbing, it was always going to be a battle of attrition. So who would reach out? That was the big question from the pack. Well, it was O'Connor himself in the leader's green striped jersey that went for it, drawing out a response as well from Colombia's Iguita. Meanwhile, at the back, the pace just too much from Valverde, who's clearly off colour, like so many have been. George Bennett then just set about tagging Amaral out front. And a good old drive, likewise, from Ineos Grenadiers, who were setting a pace designed to grind down the opposition. With Sivikov uh, just stalling in this race, along with Kwiatkowski and Richie Port, a select group, I think you might say, from which Richard Carapaz was standing tall for Ineos Grenadiers. He went for it, carrying his golden bike up the road. Well, certainly a wheel to be chased, I think it's fair to say. And it was the Colombian champion, Aguita, who went straight onto his wheel with 2.7 to go. Quintano had always been within the pack. He'd slowly but surely burnt out his teammates as well, never putting his nose in the wind. Surely his turn would come. And when we got down, whittled finally to a thinning out group up front that did not include O'Connor, he was being challenged and Ayuso in the young rider's jersey as well. It was not to be his day. Almeida for UE Team Emirates took the step forward. He, as you can see, with Quintana and Higuita, the Colombian champion, and it was they that would hit the gravel section right at the very top. Quintana looked good, but was a little bit fearful of leaning it in too deeply onto the gravel surface. And it was a surface that carried Almeida to the line. Three up sprint for it, had to be a photo, but UE Team Emirates took the day he moves into the young rider's jersey. Quintana, on points count back, actually takes the lead. Remarkable. Tied on time. Mark Pols, another strong finish from him. The Carapaz group coming home with Johansson also on board. Spectacular performance. We had to wait a while for the brave O'Connor to cross the line. He really had fought in defence of his jersey. But it wasn't to be all four Australians in a row. Almeida took the day ahead of two Colombians. The Portuguese loud and proud, same time as Quintana on the line and same time overall once the bonifications were factored in. And so it had to go to count back on points. So Quintana leads this race, but exactly the same time as Almeida, who wears the young riders jersey. The battle rages on and every second counts. Don't forget Quintana has been up for intermediate sprints during this race. He'll be looking for those points again to make a big one. The race goes on. Stage 5 to Villanova is tomorrow. 206.3 kilometres, the longest stage of this year's race. Will there be drama? Of course there will be. A Category 3 test out of the back door, then rolling terrain with two late sprints. All hell could break loose as we head back to the coast. It's a remarkable race with a very level playing field and so many riders can win it. We just don't know who. You'll have to tune in to find out.